As we last left Sonic and Tails, apparently they were watching Robotic get away. It's like, you won't get away with this Robotic. And they jumped, they jumped ship on to the flying battery zone, guys. Waller D here, back for more Sonic and Knuckles, and this is one of the best zones in terms of musical output. Basically, you have this wonderful theme in the background, and this is where the difficulty starts to really take a climb, because there's lots of ways for you to die here. There's the whole shebang here, basically. Death pits, crushing you blocks, traps, and spikes that are placed in conveniently nasty locations. And, of course, there's some interesting little, uh, tricks and traps, and, of course, you don't have a lot of, uh, big-ass rings here, and you want to jump up here and get a nice little easy extra life. But you have new enemies to deal with, you got traps like these mines, and, of course, you have these platforms placed conveniently over death pits. And Tails just died, too bad for him. Damn it, Tails, how do you keep getting hit from nothing? So, yes, yeah, so you gotta really be careful here, because precision of your jumps really matter, and I'm fucking dead, damn it. So yes, there's a death pit. So ever, whenever you ever get outside of the ship, be wary of death pits. That's all I can suggest. But there's not too many of them that will freak you, or there's not too many of them that you'll, like, die a lot from them, but just be wary of those scenes. You're gonna be at least have to deal with one of her, one of those sections in each, uh, act, so that's all I can really suggest. But once you get through them, you should be okay. Do 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 do. The nice thing about this section is that the game is very courteous enough to keep giving you that same extra life that you might have lost doing this segment. Do do. But this music here is pretty much one of the, or the, I say one of the pinnacles of Sonic 3 and Knuckles themes, because goddamn this music is pretty badass, honestly. I mean, the fact that, and of course that's what you want, that's one thing I suggest you keep knowledge of. Ah, oh, damn it, I don't want to do this fucking... This gumball game. Fine, whatever, I'll take the damn lightning shield. But yeah, this is where you get introduced to all sorts of fun things, like these. They don't have animals, some of them have rings. Like this one. This one, I believe, has more rings. Wait, fuck yes. Yeah. Damn it, fucker! Yeah, you tell him tales. But yeah, this... The thing about this act that kind of sucks... Finding big ass rings here is really damn hard, so if you're having lots of trouble, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to deal with. Don't bounce off your ass. Whoa, shit. Do -do 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 -do. And this part is where you can easily get crushed by these little orb things. They're just going around a nice little circle, but at the same time, you're kinda. They can't. They are solid enough to fucking smash you against whatever gets in your way. So be wary of that while you're going up and around and not dying, hopefully. But of course, you want to make sure to get all these rings at the same time, shit. Dude, dude, Ew, what's this? Ah, oh, damn it, bad next turn is shit. And there's a plane for Great, I lost my chance for an extra life. Thanks, guys. Ooh, nice. We got propeller blades. Don't hit them, they hurt. Do, do, do. But yeah, this segment's not too bad. Just want to try to swing yourself around, hold left, and go to the left here, tails. Get a little bit too low, buddy. And then if you go all the way to the right, you get nice enough to get another extra life. Fuck yeah. Yes. Jump over this thing, and you can keep going. Fuck yes. I think once you get to this part of the level, you're getting pretty much close to the end. Close, but not exactly all the way. Ooh, here's a here's the mini game. Here's the last little bonus stage I wanted to show you guys. This one's an interesting one. Basically, it, you basically have to go up this nice little shaft uh, and outrun this little bean that's chasing you. And the only way you do that is with, with well-timed uh, swing or well-timed jumps off these little odd-looking orbs. And you can get power-ups along the way. Just but uh, I would strongly suggest focus on, on getting to the top, because at the top you get these really lovely bonus, or the big ass ring collections. Because, uh, let me tell you, 80 rings is not fucking anything to sneeze at. That's pretty much the biggest ring payout you can get in this game, possibly. Hey, and there's also extra lives here, and I fucking missed, damn it. Ugh, fuck. Oh well, we tried. It's all your fault, Tails. You gonna grab that, you know. So yeah, nevertheless, we got that out of the way. Pretty fun little bonus stage. I definitely say it's one of the funner ones. But let's try to brighten the I feel like there's something good over 
here, shit. The nice thing about this stage is that there's a lot of nice little alternative paths that you can take, which can or can not be too confusing. Do, 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 do. Oh shit, that was very fucking close. So yeah, you want to be careful here, because obviously those things going to... What the hell? All those things going in and out of those pipes can possibly smash you. But this one is at least somewhat friendly. Somewhat friendly. Holy crap. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, finally got my extra life back. Yeah. Good job, Sonic. Oh boy. Of course we have these nice little magnet magnetism sections where you have to be careful of uh, going through them because they like a lot of them have to have spikes attached to it. And of course we have this segment. Be careful of these little spiked platforms going up and down. If you're under them while they're going down, you're gonna get crushed and die instantly. And of course they also have those nice little spikes at the bottom, making it tough to go or making it dangerous to even like jump under them, because if you get hit on the way down, they're gonna make you lose some range. Ball. Oh man, I forgot how long the zone is. Of course we have swinging ball or nice little orbs with swinging balls on them, be careful. That's about it. And here's where the game gets a little tricky here, guys. What you just need to do is just need to be patient. That's not something you would do very often in a Sonic game, but you just have to wait for this thing to shoot it or blow or crash into that four or five times. Once you do that, basically, you will get your chance to uh, get down here real quick. You know, screw that bonus stage. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, what the hell is this? So this is the mini-boss, guys, and this guy is pretty much a tricky guy. As you can see, I can't do damage by jumping into him. Fucking ass. But the way you can do is self-destruction. Basically, if you make him hit himself, he's gonna take damage like a fool. So it's just a matter of out -full or outwitting your opponent. But of course, if, you, if you're too slow in getting back on him, he's gonna try to crush you with his little spiked orb. So try to go in the direction that uh, he's using his arm on to make it a little bit easier for you to not deal with him. And once he does that six times, he kills himself. So it's kind of an interesting fight. Let's try to hit over here, Tails, huh? Ah, damn, we got nothing, Tails. Oh well, we can pose in front of our song. Fuck yes. Do do. Alright, so we got through Act 1, and that, I believe, is probably the easier to two acts. And the music takes a nice stunning change. But yeah, zone Act 2 is more of like Act 1, but except with more traps. And more dangers, like say for instance possibly killing yourself. But of course you, there's a lot easier uh, big ring to be found here. The one thing you don't have to search all over the damn place. Which is kinda nice because finding big rings on the flying battery zone is fucking hard. And we have this part where you gotta be really careful, like you have to be careful not to get crushed at the bottom, because uh, it can very well and can't will sometimes happen, so be careful of that. And we go down here real quick, and we get to this part. This part is pretty much a tricky part. I would try not to be... I try to be patient and wait for Sonic to get on the height of the uh, barrel, but it's not too hard once you get it dead on and everything, because if you at least do that, you won't die. That's all I can suggest. Get out of them at the height. And you can look at this nice part. Get a nice easy extra life. That's pretty much the game's giveaway. It's like, hey, you should need this because you'll probably get crushed here. Okay, this one just need, uh, just you just need quick spin dash to get through that segment because running is too damn risky. Girl. The nice thing about the flame shield here, guys. If you ever have them flamethrowers, you can basically get room open, or you can basically stand in the path of those flamethrowers, like with ease and no problem whatsoever. Fuck you, little shot. What the hell? A spin dashing game. Fucking do 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 Whoa. do 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 Oh, man. Fuck yes. do 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 Nice. Kick-ass game. I love that section. Oh, shit. What these? do 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 Of course, we have all these wonderful switches that'll block you for your way from getting further. Oh come on, game. I was doing- I was having lots of fun running really fast. But as you can see, giant- or flying battery zone is just good to kick ass fun with good music to go along with it. I'd say this is easily one of the best zones from Sonic and Knuckles. 
besides the later zone coming up. But yeah, def- oh shit, you definitely want to be careful while dropping down there. If you ever have like a blind jump, you can expect spikes at the bottom of them. That's all I can suggest, or I can really say on that. We have this part where you're gonna have to be careful. Because getting through this section and trying to stay to the lower route is not a good idea. Because if you do, you have this part of you possibly getting crushed or hit by spikes, whatever works, it's just not good for you. Just try to stay high so you can have an understanding of what's going on. And the middle one obviously takes you down, and be careful because there's a trap there for those that want to rush. But yes, this this zone isn't too bad, and it's definitely a fun kick-ass zone, like I said before, but I can't I can't really stress it enough on that. And we have this part, you wanna hold to the left here, because you have this nice little flashing ring. Fuck yes! Now we can give those last two emeralds to this the hidden palace, apparently. Alright, we look at our last two emeralds just fly away like they're nothing. I think I would like to conquer that one fucking special stage, but yeah, let's do it again. I can probably do it. I got better, I hope. Alright, but yes, um... How are you liking this little development, guys? Are you kind of... I'm pretty sure you guys are well no or I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that are well aware of what this game throws at you, but there's some people that have still not played it. I mean, Ray just recently played through it, and I'm pretty sure he enjoyed the shit out of it. Right, Ray? Just saying. Uh... And, I mean, this game, when I first played, it was a fucking blast, that's all I can say. I had a big, grand old time dealing with it. Oh, great. Ah, damn it. How the fuck does that happen? Damn it. That's the problem with those fucking yellow spears. They just toss you any which way, and I fuck up again. Damn. Fuck. Yeah, I guess I can hopefully try to get them. Damn it. So yes, of course we have that dead dickery happen to me. Fucking hell. Once you get through all that part, you have to deal with the mini-boss fight. Another mini-boss fight. And you have to pretty much do this, guys. Dodge the laser. That's all that you can do. You can't really hit this damn thing. So, because apparently Robotnik doesn't realize that he put the laser on blow my fucking ship up. And as you can see, as he shoots it more and more, this thing gets a little bit closer, but it also kind of wrecks his ship, little by little. So that's kind of an interesting aspect. But as you can see, it gets a little bit harder and harder to dodge this laser as, you, as it, the space gets a little bit smaller and smaller. But once it gets to where it could possibly get any smaller, this is where things kind of break. Fuck! My machine turned against me! You piece of shit! Alright, okay, so we get through that part, we have this segment. This segment can be dangerous, guys, because you have you have to deal with a crush, a slowly, a platform that's slowly moving up. And if you're not fast enough, you're going to get crushed on the ceiling by it. So be careful, that's all I can suggest. But once you get through this segment, and get to this point where you can't really do much, just pretty much uh, try to run away from these spikes to the right, and then take a nice little ride up. Do, 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 do. And this is where you can also do this nice little, this nice little stunt. Run it, run pushing is the best kind of run pushing in the game. So yes, this is where you can get the nice little uh, phenomenon of ring pushing. And watch out for Robotnik when he starts off his battle when you hear that music, because you can take a neat, nice little cheap shot from his little entrance. It's pretty sudden and not very well uh, tinted. But once you get through the initial part of that fight, you get this easy part of the battle where he just keeps swinging around, giving you a lot of hits. You can probably, you can possibly finish him off within that cycle. But this isn't a hard fight. I mean, it's a lot harder with Knuckles, though. Come on, help me out, Tails. Yeah, there we go, bitch. And that takes care of Robotnik's little contraption. He flies off like another pan, like a pansy. And we get to free the animals. Fuck yes, and they just jump ship. Hopefully you guys got some water to land in or something. Alright, so we take care of Blind Battery Zone, guys, and we're gonna have to take a nice trip to another place. So next time, guys, we're gonna be going to someplace fun. It's nice, sandy, very dreadful, I hate it. It's called Sandopolis Zone. Fucking hell. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios.
And I guess we can watch Sonic d jump out of the plane. Skydiving! And here's Sandopolis, Falk. And we're trapped, Tails. We're doomed! So thanks for watching. Have a great day and adios.